Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing the unboxing of the others. I only got this Kickstarter the, this week. Uh, us of the UK, I believe, are one of the, some of the last people to actually get their copies, but that's not really call, call me in not fault. That's due to other circumstances they couldn't foresee. Anyway, let's get on with the unboxing. I have my trusty little box cutter with me. So let's begin. Now what I'm going to do first, guys, I'm going to cut the clean film off. I have my reasons for this, and um, one of them is, it's because sometimes you can get really bad glare because I have to use a light that's behind me so we can see a little better and with the clean film still on you just can't you know it gets really bad sometimes some boxes are really shiny though and that can't be helped anyway okay so what I'm going to do is let's have a look at the the front front artwork I'm okay I'm looking at this lot here right I'm obviously that's one of the big demons uh, these may be sort of acolyte sort of people that's some werewolf sort of person. That looks like a vampire to me. Again, I've not looked inside this yet, guys, so I can't tell. That looks a bit like an elf. Um, okay. I do have to say, I do like the artwork. Very cthulhu y kind of. Um, cthulhu y Let's have a look. Oh, also, this game is made by Call cool Mini or Not Galleons, Galleons Games. And Studio Muck McVille. I can't pronounce that one. Sorry, guys. Yeah, I can't pronounce who that is. Okay, so let's have a look at the side art. Again, it might get a bit of glare here, guys, so I do apologise if you do. I say it looks kind of cool. I do love that sort of picture of the vampire. Again, it's not really much different. They show a little bit of... Oh, hit the... Bit there, a little bit more of the artworks from the front. So let's just turn this over for a second and let's bring this forward a bit let's move this this way the sins are the sins that once tormented our souls are praised poised to consume the entire world all that stands against this nightmare is faith we must fight with fi fire fire with fire and pro and pray the the flames of corruption do not engulf us all. I'm going to come in a little closer. Let's move this over this way. Sorry if my reading's not 100%, guys. I already apologise. The Others is a horror board game for two to five players, whilst one player controls the nightmare forces of sin, trying to consume the ancient city of heaven. The rest control the agents of faith, a, a paranormal organisation employed unorthodox heroes to stand against a monstrous invasion. The sin force of pride and sloth are contain, um, contained in this box, as well as three different types of acolytes, each bringing a different, a completely different challenge to the hero players. As they face the apocalypse across seven different stories with unique maps whilst the sin player uses the powers of the others to annihilate the faith heroes. The hero players need to cooperate, use the city to their advantage, and even dabble in the seductive powers of corruption to fulfil their mission. I kind of find that cool. Let's come back, oh, wrong way. back out for a second. Uh, again, this game is a 2-5 to five player. I won't lie, guys, when I got this, I... Don't know why, I thought this was a co uh, could be played single player, but I've found that since it can't be. Um, that's my fault for not checking, that's not their fault. Because when I re -look, re looked over the thing, there was nothing there saying that. Um, again, it shows you sort of some of the models, which we'll have a closer look at in a minute. But let's turn the box over, and let's get this open. And have a look what you get inside. Right put that there for the second. There is a rule book, which is quite large. There's a rule summary at the back. How many pages is this rule book? Uh, page, uh, it's 43 pages. Okay, let's, I'm just gonna have a little quick lip flick through. Let's have a look at the front art for a second. Now that is really cool. I do have, I swear that is a vampire. I'll find that in a minute anyway. It does look cool, oh, sorry, glare. 
I do hate glare and I'm trying not to get too much on it for you guys. Nice little interview with a killer. Oh, little, little story. That's kind of cool. Table contains what you sort of get inside. Again, we'll, go, we'll have a look at the models in a second. So overall, I'm not going to go too much into this. Okay, yeah, so we'll have a look in a second. Let's just put that to one side over there for a minute. Let's grab, oh, well, let's have a look at the, oh, this is interesting. Let's get my little box cutter out so I don't damage anything. And let's, well, I hope I don't damage anything. Anyway, okay. Let's put this across here. Find out what all this is in a second. Again, guys, I've not watched any, uh, any other unboxings of this yet, or just to try and keep the surprise for myself, if I'm honest. Right, so some tokens. Uh, not sure. Oh, they must mean stuff I'll find out later. I'm guessing that means city part. Actually, I'm going to turn the light off behind me because it is really, really bright for a minute. Uh, that's the X's. That's something for faith. Cool. Okay, so let's have a look here as well. So more little token things. Let's turn this over. Some other bits here, so I'm assuming they all mean something. We'll find out at some point. I guess that's Subway. Yeah, Subway. Maybe maybe red means something. That looks like a satellite. So I've done that over there. Can that be? Ah, cool. Police. Hmm. Oh. Are these stories? Oh, I, I'm not going to show these because um, they're story bits. Uh, there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Oh, that, I, I didn't know these were the stories, guys. Okay. Um, wow. Oh, cool. All right, so let's put, put that down there for a second. I thought that might be something else. Let's lift... Oh, okay, let's have a quick, I'll have a look through that in a second. Let's take out, so I don't know what these dice mean yet. I have to look at what symbols do mean, but they've got, let's have a look at one of these for a second. Let's get that out. As you can see, that looks like that's the faith teams. That's a fist, don't know what that is. That probably means a block. Uh, cancel corruption? I don't know. Let's have a quick look on the back of here for the second. Which is there something here for the symbols? No, there's nothing there for the symbols. So I don't know what the symbols mean just yet. Okay. And then there's another set of dice over here. And they've got different symbols on them. Then let's have a look what they've got on them. And some of these actually have blank. Do any of these have blank on them? No, those, those ones don't. Okay, so I can see a corruption, I can see a fist, normal fist, blank. When I say corruption, guys, I'm assuming that means corruption because it's a very similar symbol in another game I like to play called Shadows of Brimstone. Um, okay, so let's put that... Well, there's seven of these dots and seven of the other. Okay, cool. Let's, again, as I said, let's put these back for a minute. Let's put that over there. Um... Okay, let's open these up quickly. I'll have a quick little flick through. Uh, I do hate this. I have had so many times I have big problems opening these things. And I try not to damage any cards when I do. And that's not the easy part. Okay, so you've got... Something on the back here that says Dark Pack. Packed. Upgrades. Sloth. Oh, cool. So you're not going to just have Sloth, are you? You're going to have Pride as well. Pride. Oh, I'm gonna have a, let's just have a quick look at one. Wow. Um, at the start of your turn, teleport this hero one space away. Hath, I can't even pronounce that. Alone in the dark. Start, start the hero's turn. If one hero is alone, he takes one corruption point and you gain one reaction point. Okay, so... Let's see how many of these are. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve. So there's twelve pride cards, and now we're on to sloth. Sloth in the dark. Start the hero's turn, move up to three monsters, one space each. That's kind of cool. How many cards are there? These one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve. There we go. I thought it would be, but you never know. Right. So there's one, two, sorry guys, I'm trying one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven dark packed cards. Let's have a quick read of one. Clear conscience. One, no effect. Okay, fair enough. Let's, and let's have a look at this with these upgrade sort of cards. I don't again, how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, fifteen, eighteen. There's eighteen of them. We're only gonna look at one here. This one here. Cyberware. You can move three spaces. Per turn instead of two. Okay, so that's kind of cool. It means basically you do a bit of cybernetics. Again, I'm liking that. That's that's different. Hopefully I can put this away without worrying about damaging any of the cards. That's the last thing I want to do. Um, just in case to let you guys know, I may be playing this in the future um, on Ready Steady Play. It's a friend's channel of mine. Uh... I'll get back to you when that will be. Now I'm going to try and have a quick look at these. So again, sorry about this guys for how long it can take me to open these. I'm trying not to damage any of the cards. And I, I have done in some of my other games trying to open these things. Uh, I may even speed up the video because... Uh, why is it the most hardest thing to do in some of these unboxings is just to open a set... Uh, undo the plastic around some of these cards. I don't know if anyone else has these problems. I know I do. Sorry. Finally. Finally. I've done it. Okay, so this Hell's Mutation. Oh, wait, what's this? Let's turn it around. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these sword things. I don't know what these sword cards mean. Let's have a look on the other side. A game of souls. Whenever the soul play, a sim player adds a token as a token to a space, all heroes. Oh, ho, ho. okay, so that's not good. Let's put that. Little pile there. I'm not sure what they are though. Okay, so there's something here that looks like something trying to come out of a little porthole on a ship. Okay, so a quick read of this first one here. Hellfire cause each monster gets plus one defense. By look, I think that's defense, guys. During the sins player's reaction. Again, that's not good. But then I don't really know at this minute, do I? Because I've not played. Um, I'm assuming that's some like special card ability spell or something. Um, Hellfire and Mutation. Each Acolyte gains one corruption in, in fights. Wow. Because I, I'm not a big fan of corruption in any game, especially if it can cause you to get damaged. But I don't know what this game game is like yet so all right, let's move the models out for a second because I want to look at everything else before I look at the models okay so let's move that over there let's grab oh wow there's quite a few things here okay so let's have a look at this here now of course I'm going to try and get the plastic open without trying to damage anything There's some three. There's three sort of things here. Let's have a quick look at this. This is the Apocalypse Tracker. I'm just having a quick look, guys. I'm not uh, Apocalypse Tracker. Now it says it's got seven missions in the game. I'm not sure if this is okay. So reveal Apocalypse card. The sim player may summon on additional monster each turn. Reveal a Apocalypse card. Sim player gains one additional. Reaction put oh so I'm guessing that means when something's going on Okay, no problem. There's a 
there's pride. I'm not sure what uh, else happens with pride here. Kind of looks cool though. I think these mean defense and how many dice that each would roll, but I'm not 100% sure on that, guys. So one dice may mean defense, one dice might, might mean attack. Okay, here's sloth. Almost the same. I wonder if there's a difference in the... Not sure. Maybe there's a special ability, I don't know. Yeah, I think there is. Okay, so now let's have a quick look at... Oh, sorry, a little bit trying to get more plastic off here. Okay, so I'm guessing that would be this person here. I'm not sure. Okay, let's just put that down there for the minute. Okay, so this is this person. I'm, again, I'm not trying to show too. I don't want to show too much. Again, is this a va yeah? She is a vampire. Okay, I got that right. Magri. Leha, Leha, sorry. Morgana. Thornless, Thorless, Thor, Lee, Leas. Okay. He looks like he is a demon, he's got horns. He's a bruiser though, that's what it says there. Uh, Rocco. Okay, Brad is another shooter type. A fixer is. Oh wow, she's got tentacles coming out of her arms. That's kind of cool and kind of creepy at the same time. I'm guessing this is like corruption sort of points. Okay, Carl. Ah, I think Carl is the one that would end up with. This going over the top. Okay. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's try and let's have a look at this this little set now. Okay, this is taking a lot longer than I thought we would. I'm not sure if it's maybe I'm a little tired. Maybe I'm not, but we'll find out. Okay. Let's do that along there for a second. No, that's not going to work. Again, I might fast forward these little bits when I'm trying to just open up the plastic because it's got to be a bit frustrating for you guys watching this video. I'm trying to see. Okay, no, it's not working, even though I've tried to use my cutter in this one as well. Let's see if... Because I don't want to damage the tiles, and I don't want to damage anything else in this pack. And sometimes, don't be wrong, I don't blame companies for doing some really good tight bits, but sometimes I do get a little frustrated as I'm trying to... Okay, so let's have a look here. So, we've got the Corrupted Hobo. Let's put these over here for the minute. We've got the corrupted hobos, corrupted doctors, kind of cool ones, and the corrupted nuns. Let's turn it over to the other side. Okay, I'm assuming that means priests as well. Okay, now let's have a look at the tiles. Now, I don't know what the, any of these sort of mean. All these symbols, these are back bits to them. Okay, so that it looks like a shopping mall or some office sort of place. So let's, let's put that back there like that. A barracks or a police office station. Again, it's just got a city sort of thing on the back. Uh, it's got the corruption symbol on the floor there, so I'm not sure what this is. But, yeah. Nightclub. I can see Pride being very strong in a nightclub. Sloth, not really though. Uh, medical facility? Yeah, I would have said medical facility. Looking at that, same as this one. Uh, again, it's got a corruption symbol on this one. Not sure about that. I'm not sure about that one at all. Uh, Oh wow, that don't look very nice place to be in. It looks like, yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It's kind of interesting. An art gallery by the looks of it. Pride Den. Let's have a look at the artwork. Let's quick look at the artwork in the back. 
does look good. Again, I don't know what any of these mean yet, and that's obviously a bridge. Okay, so there's, how many tiles is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tiles. So you get ten tiles in the game. Alright, so let's let's get the uh, other models out. Oh, please go in, please go in, please go in, please, please. As I said, I want to try and put this all back the way that I pull it in as well. Let's just put that there. And let's put that on over there like that. Right, so I'm going to start off with this small box first. I don't know what's in here yet, so we're about to find out. Ah, the heroes by the looks of it. Okay, so by the looks of it, there's eight models, which I think one is means a for two. Uh... Let's have a look at the models. Now I am going to turn the light on behind me for a second here, guys, so we can actually see the detail on some of these models. And I do have to say, I do like a lot of the detail on Call cool Mini or Not's models. I do think they make some really good looking models. Okay, so let's put her back for a minute. Let's take him out. That does look cool. I like the little broken trousers. The weapon, the muscle, uh, the muscles, muscles on the back, and the britches are down. But again, on the other picture you see of him, though he actually has really long horns. He doesn't actually. No, no, that's a different. That's a different one. That's the one that turns into a werewolf, isn't it? My mistake, there, guys. That's not the person I thought that was. This is the uh, vampire woman. As much as uh, I would love to be able to paint these, I know that's just not going to happen with me. Okay. He's got an Uzi type weapon in one hand, a, maybe a Magnum or 9mm pistol in another. Bulletproof vest, leather jacket. Does look good. Has he got. It looks like he got some, maybe some form of headgear on as well. Okay, so let's grab this gentleman. He looks like he's got like some powerful LAS rifle or some sort. And some power. Um, Body armor. Now this one here, right? If I saw this, this does not look like a hero to me. It looks like it should be on the the opponent side, but obviously he is a hero. So the gentleman we saw a minute ago, obviously that lovely sword he's got. Now, guys, I'm not being funny. Just look how good the model, the detail on it is. Is it is a very good and well done model, and you're not having to build it. That's the other really cool thing. Now again, talking about something that kind of confuses me a little, is that she's got tentacles coming out, coming out of her. Okay, so let's... Oh, and you also get stuff to put on the bottom of your stand so you kind of see who's who. Right, so let's move that over here for a minute. Let's move that over here as well. Um, actually, let's have a quick look at... I'm, sure, I'm assuming this is the monster for pride. Oh, something's holding it. I think it's sellotape. There it is. Okay, let's let's get my box car. Sorry about this, guys. I'm hoping to get. Uh... Again, I might fast forward this little moment. Wow. Oh, this does look cool, and I'm about to show you why. Let's come out a little. As you can sort of see, little mace kind of tentacle-y type bits, little suctions. They really good detail. They just look along the top there, guys. Along these sort of like pox kind of flesh. Even a butt cheek. <laughs> Tentacles coming out from up from the front. They've done a really good job. I love these sort of arms. Uh, you know what? Well done, call me. You're not well done. Um, how did that go in? I can't remember. I'm just thinking it's that way. I'm hoping it's that way. Okay, so now let's get to the last bit. Let's pull these up. Ah, well, something dropped out. And so did something else. Okay, so I know what they are. Because I've got other bits for it as well. Alright. 
Okay, so let's have a look here. I'm assuming that's the priest. Yeah, one of the sort of like... Okay, this is really cool. I wish they'd keep them close together though. I can see that's one of the priest um, acolytes. That is, again, you get two of them. Exactly the sort of same. Kind of creepy, you know, corrupted sort of priest. I'm assuming... Hmm. Doctor or Hobo? I'm not sure. I'm assuming Hobo. Again, as I said, you get two of them. I do like the detail on these models, though. They do look really cool. Okay. This is the uh, you know, sort of bag lady, I'm assuming. Again, look at these sort of like... This would be so cool. Uh, I don't know if you guys know sort of Warhammer, but Nurgle, something for Nurgle. If you like invading the city that's been corrupted by Nurgle for so long. Some of this would look really good like that. I know this isn't, but I'm just sort of saying. Okay, I'm assuming this one is Doctor. Again, sort of like a hunchback, tentacles coming out everywhere. There's two of them. I think this is the corrupt nun. Wow, that does look cool. So look at that sort of tentacles coming out with the arms. All right, guys, I might need to change the battery in a second. It's just gone down to its last bar. Just giving you the heads up. I know this is a hobo. This again, this would be the one that's got the sign that says the uh, end is nigh. Though they do look cool. I should only pick one up of that type. I believe this is an altar boy. Or an altar girl. Or just someone praying who's short. Kind of creepy though. If it is an altar boy and they've got corrupt priests. Sorry to say it guys, but you know. Again, I'm thinking that's yeah, medical bag in one hand. I'm assuming that's a doctor, but look at all that around the chest area there, guys. That really is creepy. Very cool at Call of Cthulhu to me. Very, very Call of Cthulhu sort of looking to me in a very big way. Okay, so I'm assuming that's a, a doctor or a nurse. Nurse, because it's got the little head. Sorry if I can get that. Just uh, So these models do, do look really good okay let's move that up like that for a minute so it's a okay so let's take that one off put that there for the minute now this is wow right i need to work out which one's what though okay so i'm going to try and find prides first i think this is pride let's have a look Model don't look too bad. Again, it's two of them. And another two of these sort of guys. I'm assuming it's pride because it's got a lot of tentacles. And that other model does. Yes, it is pride. I've just seen the box uh, thing over there. Okay, so. Again, even just the small models, I, I think the detail is very, very good. Okay, he's reading a book. Uh, this is the controller. I don't know who, what controller is yet, guys. I, I'm soon to find out. Okay, so now let's go on to sloth. And this is sloth models. As I said, they are kind of creepy, but fun. That is just so cool. Again, you get two models like that. I so if I was doing a, some 40k stuff with like Nurgle, if you could get extra models of like these sort of things with, they would so suit it. Really, really would. Look at the spine. 
little oh it's so cool tail knife on it does the others have like that little knife tail yeah they do it's so cool oh sorry about that focus it's got these little tails with knives that is just brilliant okay Take you out. You are the uh, sloth altar and sort of like the mini legs that's pulling it along. Do you know, again, I know I've said it with a lot of the other video um, things, but Call Mini Not do do nice models and they've done a very, very good job with these models. Um, okay, guys, I also got some of these corrupt tokens as well. I won't lie, I bought a box set with like 60 of them but I didn't buy it for that and the reasons of them you also get some health tokens and I bought another wounded pack so you got loads more the I've got again as I said I've got another reason for why I've actually got them okay let's do the hell club I almost forgot about them I, I'd play a game called shadows of brimstone and the crutch tokens would actually be really good well, this is obviously some form of brute, and I'd like to know what sort of stats he has, because that looks really cool. Doesn't fit in there properly either. <laughs> okay, some creepy little twin things. They've got very kind of um, oh, what was that film? Hellraiser kind of thing that some of this group. Let's have a look. Yeah, it kind of does. All very dark elf sort of. Mm, that model, much as it's nice little bit of detail in it, it's not sure. Okay, let's have a look at her. She's got these strange looking hands. Yeah, not sure about the, the Hell Club models. They don't seem to have maybe come off as well as I thought they would. Now, am I, am I meant to get stat cards for these guys as well? Because I don't see any stack cards anyway. Maybe it's something in the rule book. Uh, I'll have a look a little later. If there is meant to be, guys, please let me know. Okay, guys. Now, at the, I'm basically almost finished this video. But what I'm going to ask you now is, I am going to continue doing some unboxings for the others. Now, what I want to ask you is, out of all this lot I've got here. So, from the Men of Faith, the Sons of Ragnar, Omega Team, Beta Team, would you like me to do some of the other sins like Envy, Lust, Raft, Greed and Gluttony? Or would you like me to do the Apocalypse box set, the Delta Team or Ogama? The extras there, guys, will, is a part of the Apocalypse set, so when I do the Apocalypse set, I will... Uh, to unbox that there. Okay, guys, I feel like I've waffled on quite a bit in this video. Um, again, just vote in the comments below. Tell me which box you'd like me to uh, unbox. Also, guys, if I've missed something, or I seem to be missing something from my box, please let me know, because I'm a little cautious about where the stats are for the Hell Club. But as I said, they're probably in the rule book, and I've just missed it. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. Um, my name is Light of Hand. If you've enjoyed this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, please do. If you feel like you need to leave a comment, I appreciate any comments as long as there's like not as long as there's some um, feedback to to help me. I, I don't mind any sort of comment. All right, guys. I hope you're having a good day. Mine's okay, not brilliant, but you know, hey ho. You guys have a good day.